Hey everyone, welcome to Cooking Companion TV. I'm Jenna Edwards and this is a recipe demonstration of Melanie Leonello's bean cacciatore. Give this video a thumbs up if you like it. Melanie's original recipe uses chickpeas, but I had these white beans on hand so I decided to use them instead. We'll start with mincing two cloves of garlic and slicing a whole red onion, or however much your husband left you after garnishing his hamburger with your red onion. And then we'll slice 10 mushrooms. In a large saucepan, heat some olive oil over medium high heat and add the garlic and onions and let them saute for about five minutes until they're soft and translucent. I'm using an aluminum and stainless steel tri-ply saucepan here, which is a wonderful conductor of heat. So medium heat is high heat for this. A lot of people make the mistake of using too much heat when cooking on stainless steel cookware and they overcook their food and wonder why it burnt or it didn't work out. After five minutes, add the mushrooms and let them cook for another five minutes or so, just until they're lightly browned. Now add a can of crushed tomatoes, some Kalamata olives, that's the purple ones, and a can of beans or two cups of fresh beans. Now gently stir this together so everything is fully submerged in the tomatoes. It's more folding and less stirring because ideally we'd like to keep the beans intact so they don't fall apart and get mushy. Now let this simmer for 30 minutes over low heat. You're not looking to thicken anything, so if you see it bubbling, lower the heat. I literally turn the knob as low as it can go. Now is a good time to add some salt and pepper. And right before this finishes, make some polenta to serve with it. If corn isn't your thing, try making some creamy millet as an alternative. Now serve. I thought this was an odd group of ingredients with the olives and the red onion, but the flavor was really good enough. My only suggestion for you is to use some seasoning. Definitely throw in some oregano and or thyme, or buy the canned tomatoes that are already seasoned with those things. You could even spice it up with some roasted red pepper or a dash of cayenne. And then play with some greens. Throw in some spinach or some arugula. This recipe says it's two generous servings, but I think it's more like four unless you expect to eat a large serving. It's easy enough and generous enough for two for dinner on a weeknight. That's it for this recipe demonstration of bean cacciatore. Get the full recipe at cookingcompaniontv.com and subscribe to this channel for more demonstrations just like this. I'm Jenna Edwards and thanks for watching.